Hello and welcome to this session. Now let's take a look at our second data set which is Olympic events. Now in this data set we have columns like ID, name of the Olympian, sex, age, height, weight, the team which he or she belongs to, uh, the code of the country, the games, the year in which the Olympics were done, season, it was a summer Olympics or winter Olympics, the city where the events were done, the sport and the name of the event and whether the player or the participant won a gold, silver, bronze or whether he did not win any medal like any, not applicable. Now, so basically it's an interesting data set. Uh, let's see what all inferences, what all queries we can kind of fire in this and make uh, some intelligence, intelligent inference out of it. Okay, so this is the basic query. Select star uh, from your schema name dot the table name. Now, first query which I want to find out is write an SQL query to find in which sport or event India has won the highest medals. It could be gold, silver, bronze, but not any. Okay, so I want to get a count of the total medals tally of India according to each event in which it has participated and I want the highest to lowest medal tally. Okay, so now I'll just first break up this query for you. So let's first say select star from Olympic events where team is equal to India. Now this is the entire data set filter data where India has participated and these are the participants. Now I am excluding which is not equal to I am excluding all this all those events where India has not won a medal. So okay so now I've excluded those events. So now India has medals with bronze, gold and silver. Now I want a count of all these medals per event. Now it makes sense for me to do a group by event. So now I am doing a group by. Now in my select clause I can have event or any other aggregation or number crunching which I want to do now my, my goal is to get the medals tally. So group by event and get the count of the medal. So India has won 28 medals in men's hockey, one in shooting rifle and one in wrestling, men's wrestling. Okay. So total 30, 30 is the total count and out of that this is the breakup. Okay. By default you can see the data is already sorted but you can also put a sorting clause order by count of medal descending and you will get the same result 2811. So it's a good inference you can check uh, and even if you want that in which year per year wise breakup if you want. So you can use this column year and say for example you just say year and event. Now let's see what we get. Okay, so now in this, in 1932 men's hockey, we got the maximum medals. Then 1952, then 1928. Yeah, either you can sort. So we have sorted by descending highest medal count to the lowest medal count. Or if you want to order by year. So here you have the latest one to, from 2012 to 1928 which is now the data is sorted by year descending or you can say oldest to low earliest which is 28 to 2012. So all the options are available so but the, we want to see what is the problem statement which you want to solve. Next let's example. Identify the sports or event which was placed most consecutively in the summer Olympic Games. Okay, so now similarly now we want only the summer Olympics. So what we will do is
Olympic events where season equal to summer. Okay, now I have filtered that data and event group by event and get the count of that particular event. Now I want to sort it. My football, men's football is the most uh, played event. Okay, so again say order by event count descripting dis, uh, descending okay so football men's football 1545 events hockey uh, base basketball water polo cycling rowing athletics men 400 meter uh, relay 100 meters so this is the descending order of the events next example Write an SQL query to fetch the details of all the countries which have won most number of silver and bronze medals and at least one gold medal. Now this is interesting. We want a count of separate count of medals tally which is silver, bronze and gold separately first. Okay. So now we will take an example of a case statement now in SQL. What I have to do first is I have to query the Olympic events table and i have to check in which case i have the uh, the team or the player has won silver i'll say if someone has won silver give uh, say then one l0 if someone has bronze won bronze then one l0 someone has won gold one l0 so i have basically created three columns separate columns this is the condition of whether the person is winning silver bronze and gold now I'm just going to run this query independently and if you see in the end now I have three new columns introduced uh, basis the count of the gold silver and bronze so suppose for this example uh, this player has won gold so he has one in front of the gold okay someone has won bronze so there's a one here now I'll use these three columns to do a sum to get the total tally of silver, bronze and gold separately. So now if you observe, I have prepared a put this in a in a query and on top of this query. Now I am writing another query, which is select team comma sum of silver column, sum of bronze, sum of gold and I am grouping by team. So now if you see this. China has won 32 silver, 27 bronze, 41 gold, Denmark, etc. Now I have per team its medals tally silver, bronze, gold. But now I have to put a condition that I only want a list of teams which have at least won one gold means the sum of gold tally should be greater than zero. So now I will use my having clause. So after doing my grouping, I am applying the having clause it means I should remove all the teams which does not which have gold equal to zero okay so now if I apply this there is no team now left in my data set which is having zero golds at least one gold is there okay now idea is to sort which has won the most number of silver and bronze medal now I have to do sort by silver let's do that Okay, so now if you see United States have won most number of silver and bronze medals, but at least have one gold. So this is the actual output, which is what we want. Okay. Next is France, Italy. And if you go to the bottom, the last, there is, uh, if you see Scotia or China 2 or any other example. Uh, I'll just take another example Uzbekistan Ireland Indonesia if you see only one gold and one silver so that's why it's at the bottom of the table Uzbekistan four gold but at least they have one gold okay next another very obvious thing which you might come to mind which player has won the maximum number of gold okay so similar to the previous query we will again create a column with a case statement that give me a count of uh, only gold and then on top of it I'll use the name of the player group by 
name rather than the team and find and then sort by sum of gold. See, Matthew Nicholas has won eight golds. Ole Aina, eight. Usain Bolt, eight golds. Okay, then Nikolai, seven. Victor, all these. So, this is the sorted order of your golds tally. Next, which sport has maximum events? Very simple. Group by sport and get a count star and then sort. Athletics is the maximum events which have happened. Gymnastics, swimming. And again, similar question. Which year has shown the maximum number of events? Which year were, were max 1992? They were maximum events. Then 1988. Then 2016. Then 2000. So you can see, you know, 1992 was the maximum number of events which were played. So these are the kind of, you know, intelligent inferences, SQL mining you can do on, on this data set. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.